Hello and welcome. First of all, I would like to thank you all who keep watching my channel and subscribing it. I was able to get my first 500 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. So today we are going to talk about threads in Flutter. So further ado, let's get started. An isolate is a thread that have an event loop that continuously processes events in its own memory space. Dart normally runs one isolate but you can have more if you want to. This can be used if you have a big operation that would cause any performance issues or frame drops. You can use isolate.spawn or flutter's compute function. These isolates get their own event loop and memory block. An isolate should be defined outside of the main app. The main giveaway is that it would not allow any other isolate to access its memory, even for, from its parents. Since you got some basic idea of what isolate is, let's see it in action. I have created a basic Flutter app. So now let's convert this stateless widget to a stateful. Then outside of my home page, I'm gonna write my count isolate function and passing in cycle parameter. Inside this function, I'll be doing a simple task. I'll be printing numbers of cycles in a for loop. Next, I'm calling init state and calling our isolate function using isolate.spawn. First parameter here in the function that should be our isolate function and next is the number of cycles which is 100. Now let's run and see. Okay, let's see what we did wrong here. As you can see, I have defined my isolate function inside the main app. Let's copy and paste it outside the main app. Then we'll do a hot reload. Now let's test it. We'll set a breakpoint here and do a hot reload. As you can see here in the call stacks, we have two events. One is main and the other one is our count isolate. So the breakpoint has been triggered and you can see still we can work our main app and when we tap on the add button, it keeps increasing the value. But in the console, you can see the isolate task is still running and it's stopping at printing 1. Now let's try the next way, flutter compute method. We'll copy the same count isolate function and this time it'll be returning an int. We'll be getting the count of the cycles and returning it back. do this the same way I did it inside the init state but I want to show how it can be done on a button press so I'm gonna create a button and a text widget to show the end value This Flutter compute will be sending a future, therefore we have to wait it to be completed.
So inside the run compute future, I'll be calling await compute and passing in our function count compute and amount of cycles as 200. Then we'll put in a set state so our counter compute variable is updated. and then we'll run it. As always, I forgot to call the function inside the button. Let's do that now. We can see it works well. Now let's add a breakpoint and rerun the code. Just like before, you can see our compute function is running in the background and our app is working fine. I hope you have better understanding of threads in Flutter now. Again, thank you for all helping me out in the channel. Please comment down below what kind of content you would expect in the future. I will try my best to get them to you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and also check out my other videos. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.